What's up? What's up? It's your boy Sneaky Q. We back again with Mop Magazine. I got a special guest, the homie, Mexican artist, South South Atlanta rapper, the homie Cap G. What's happening, man? Cap G in the building. All right, I'm gonna jump right into it. Yeah. 2015 XXL class came out yesterday. Freshman class came out. Yeah. You wasn't on the cover. You wasn't mm -hmm. on the list. How did that make you feel? Uh, it just really made, it just really motivated me, you know, just really to go harder. You know, I feel like, um, you know, it's it's my time, it's my year now. So me being on the cover, it would have helped me, but it's all good. We finna just go harder. That's all it is. So it don't make you grind harder. Yeah, we finna grind. So what's in the works, man? Let's talk about uh, what's in the works. Man, I got a, a new project coming soon uh, called El Southside. Um, I'm in a new movie dropping June 19th in theaters called Dope. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that, yeah, um, yeah, I'm just on the grind. So let's talk about that role in Dope. How yeah. did you land it? Um, well, actually, for real, my big bro, for real, um, the role that I have, they was looking for somebody to play it, and for real, just thought that I'd be dope to play it. Like, I killed the role, so. You know, he told them about me, and I just auditioned for it, and they had liked me, and I killed the roles, and yeah, I mean, I'm in the movie now. Yeah, really. All right, so let's talk about Pharrell. Yeah. Pharrell thinks you the future of hip-hop. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a big statement coming from a guy like Pharrell who's done so much in the music industry. Yeah. So how did that make you feel? Man, it made me feel... It was overwhelming because it's like, man, I've been, you know, I know, I knew Pharrell from when I was little, like, you know, watching him on TV. So, like, seeing him say them words to me, it was crazy. It just made me go hard, you know, for real. So you just got the uh, single. Yeah. All right, let's talk about that single, man. How do you link up with T.I. and David Banner all on the same track? Yeah, well, um, shout out to them, uh, David Banner, um, we actually linked up at the studio probably like two years ago and um he said he I had did his little freestyle to OG Bobby Johnson and uh, he had he seen me, he was like, Yo, I rock with your stuff, you know, I had seen you do the little freestyle and the way I shot the video, I was in front of the Home Depot. He was like, Man, that's so crazy, like you really spitting and you really putting on for your people, man. I salute that and from there, um, we did a song together, so I'm gonna be on his new album coming soon. We did it like a year or two ago, and um, when I did the remix, I had already had Ti verse, and we was like, we just need one more verse, somebody who real, somebody who really gonna talk that stuff. And David Banner was perfect, you know. And then the way I got Tilt, um, Tilt actually liked the song already, you know. Um, I seen Tilt at my big homie Bear birthday party, and um. He had walked up to me, he was like, yo, Cap, man, I really rock with the, um, the La Policia song. He was like, man, you know, he was like, he wanted to hop on it. I was like, shit, yeah, yeah, let's do it. You <laughs> let's, know? Do it let's do it. Let's do it. So and, that was um, a no-brainer. Yeah, definitely. And, um, you know, he a busy man. It took him a little minute, but every time he seen me, he was like, Cap, I got you, man. I still got you. I'm going to do it. And he did it. You know, 100. That's what I hear a lot, man. T.I. is one of those real guys. Man. Yeah. He give you his word. He's pretty much his word is his bond. Yeah, definitely. All right, so when did you pick up the mic, man? You know, because born in Long Beach, California. Nah, I, I'm born in, um, see my family. See, my family is from Mexico. Um, my mom and dad and some of my brothers, you know, they crossed over, moved to California. Yeah. Yeah, then they came, you know, my brother, he was getting in trouble. They came to Atlanta, moved to College Park. That's when I was born right there. Yeah. But then you pick up the mic, though, man. Like, <laughs> like how did you pick up the mic? You know what I'm saying? Because coming from, you know, in music, you know, yeah. Mexican artists, you know what I'm saying, as far as rap, you know, yeah. it's kind of like a small type of thing. Yeah, you know? definitely. So how did you pick up the mic? Man, really just being around my peers, man. Um, You know, because, like, just growing up in College Park, man, you know, you got to know, it's, you got to know about hip-hop, you know what I'm saying? I grew up playing sports, you know, listening to everybody, outcasts, you know, just being around my peers. And one day, um, it was, a, it was like a big local scene, you know, in Atlanta. So I seen a lot of my friends rapping. And I could already rap, but I just didn't really want to come out my shell. I never told nobody. So one day, me and my friends, we just started rapping. We made our own little studio, you know. That's how it came about. So talking to you, 
seeing you out and about at different events. Yeah. You're a humble guy. Yeah. So where did the humility come from? Man, I don't know. I think, you know, I think just maybe because, you know, I've been like this, you know, since I was young. Like, you know, a lot of people, even before I was a rapper, like a lot of people being showed me love, you know, I, was, I guess you could say like I was cool, like, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing like people show me rap love now, you know, they fans now, but I guess, you know, when I was in school and I was in the neighborhood, everybody always rocked with me. So it's nothing, you know, I feel like maybe these rappers, you know, they may not have been like that before they made it. And then they want to just get all Hollywood, you know, act like that. So, yeah, I just stay humble, man. And plus, I've been putting in a lot of work, so been doing it for about eight years so it's like to see it happen now i'm just humble definitely man and one thing i one thing i also want to elaborate on too with your, with your humility yeah that's why people rock with you so much uh-huh. you know your first thing you yeah you know what i'm saying that's big because you gotta look at all the artists and all the people out here doing music yeah you know for them you know to have somebody like that first single you know that's big man how did that come about Okay, so the way Chief Keith came about, my brother, who is my manager, his barber, he's from the south side of Chicago, and he was telling us, like, yo, it's this dude, Chief Keith, man, he finna blow, you know, blah, blah, and bro was like, shoot, ask him, can you, you know, get on a song, and uh, we sent him the song, he did it, and then probably like a week later, we had just rented a van, I brought my whole crew, we had drove all the way down to Chicago, we shot the video, then we came back. On the college park, we shot the rest of the video. That's how it came about. We just grinding. Grinding, man. Yeah. Took that. How long was that trip? Man, probably, I don't know how long it took. It took a couple of hours. It was, it was long. <laughs> and then we didn't even stay. We didn't get no hotel or none. As soon as we done with the video, we drove right back. Definitely. Just grinding. Grinding, man. Yeah. Grindin'. So you got new music coming out. Yeah. Got you working on the album? Yeah, yeah, I'm always working on the always album. Yeah, album. Yeah, yeah. So how many times a week are you in the uh, studio? Man, I probably see now. I, to be honest, I've been real busy. I've been like out of town, you know, doing shows, doing uh press a lot. So, but when I'm not doing that, I'm probably in the studio like every single day. For real? Yeah. You know I'm saying, what kind of big? What can we expect? You know, another big feature? Uh. You know, I, I don't know, you know, it just kind of be, it kind of happened, you know, kinda so happened. if it makes sense, you know, you'll see it. Yeah. You gonna be out in, uh, in L.A. for the BT Awards? Uh, I don't know, I'm going to L.A. today, though. I gotta <laughs> You're going go, to L.A. today? Yeah, I got to go to the airport at about five. Um, I'm be out there in L.A. for the, um, you know what I mean, dope premiere. Okay. So, yeah, then from there I'm going to New York later for the premiere, too. So you grind. So we out here grinding. We out here grinding, man. You know, yeah. it's the homie Cap G, man. We yeah. expecting big things from Cap G, dog. Look, bro. Zenny. Stay humble, man. Got to. Stay humble, man. We're going to be following your career, man. Like, yeah. We expect the big things from you, man. Appreciate that, man. I think man. the biggest thing that can happen to you is not to be on the cover of the double XL freshman class. Nah, that dude, makes sense. Come kill it, man. Yeah, that makes you know sense. Saying? God did that for you because you said, yo, you can come back. And everybody on that yeah. way, you're going to be a bigger artist than you. Stay humble. Appreciate that, man. For the real. Show, man. Thank you for rocking with me, man. Definitely, 100. Man. Mott Magazine is your boy, Sneaky Q. Big homie, Cap G. One love. Peace. Yeah.